What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parents in Training. July 9th is AAA's Cal Appreciation Day. In order to celebrate that, they allow customers to go into their restaurant. If they dress up in a costume, uh, a cow costume, then the customer will get a free entree. So in preparation of uh, doing so, I'm going to show you how to make your own costume. Uh, show you some of the supplies that you might need. A marker, some kind of string, something that you can either tape or glue with. And of course, I'll be showing two methods. One using a white shirt, and the other one using a trash bag. And also something to cut with, a pair of scissors. Last but not least, print knots. So you can get this on the internet and just print them out to cow spots. And also a mask. Now this is printed off on a just regular printing paper. So you might need something like a cardboard paper. So essentially, well this is semi-hard, so you can take the mask over it so that way you can actually wear this. Okay, let me show you how to do it. Okay, first stop is with the trash bag. It's quite simple. Uh, you make sure where the bottom portion of the trash bag is. So you might want to start with the bottom portion. This is the top part where, the, where you can seal up. This will actually go onto the bottom where your head will go into this way. And so on top, you need to cut out a portion where your neck will be. So I just kind of estimate that's the part where I'm going to cut out. And uh, well, my arm is going to come out somewhere near here. So make sure to have the cut out there as well. And the same goes here. You don't have to be precise. The one of the best thing about the trash bag is that it's stretchy. So you can actually just force your arm or your neck out of it if needed. Okay, next stop to cut out this the spots. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as all the spots are just black, I should do it. So essentially, if you have black paper, you can just draw some bunch shapes out of it, and that will work as well. I'm actually cutting three pages at the same time. Okay, so after you have cut out all the pieces, then just lay out on the on the trash bag however you want. There's no particular way that you have to do it. But uh, then just use a marker and start tracing. Now, I think this is a really great family event. You know, get the kids involved. And it's a little side project too. Okay, here we go. Of course, you can just glue this somehow, but I try and they don't really stick on the on the trash bag. Maybe I need to use a better glue. Again, this is, doesn't have to be too precise. You just have to trace the spot on the trash bag. So if you have a black trash bag, this works the same way. You just have to trace out 
uh, using different color. Uh, probably you need to use a white marker, so that way it's more noticeable. Um, to have a black trash bag with white spots. Okay, after you have tra traced out most of the stuff, now it just comes down to uh, fill in the, the, the spot where you have traced it out. Okay, so after this, uh, you just have to do the back side as well. Um, let's move on to the shirt. So I have this old white shirt lying around. It's really, really old and pretty ugly. <laughs> anyway, so you lay it out. What you do is you just, same thing. Uh, you just have to place them. You know, I might want to just do an easy way out uh, instead of putting so many spots. Uh, let me just put this ginormous one in the center of it. Now for the shirt, I might just want to use a tape because I don't think the glue will work. Okay, so the shirt is also done. I mean, you can always put more to it. Okay, so there you go. That's my shirt version. Okay, now comes the mask. Uh, just overlay the Turn out over a hard piece of paper or some kind of cardboard that you have. So this way, once you cut it, then the uh, mask will not be so flimsy that you can actually wear it. Okay, so this is now done and uh, we just need to find a way to tape it now. That's what the uh, glue comes in. Line it up. Okay, there you go. Now we just have to find a way to punch two holes. Uh, if you have a hole puncher, that will be very convenient, but uh, I'm just going to go off camera and use the scissor to punch the holes. Okay, so the hole has been punched. You don't need to make it too large of a hole, uh, just enough for the string to go through. <laughs> Once you push through the hole, just make a knot. It might be good to use a tape as well. Alright, 
right, there you go. Good morning, you two. Good morning. We're gonna go to Chipotle to get our breakfast. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> we are all dressed up as cows. All right, see you guys then. All right, we're out here at the Chipotle uh, at one of the location. There's not that many people here, so we're in luck. Uh, we can just grab and go, and uh, yeah, see you inside. Okay, hey guys, uh, so there's not that many people here at this early in the morning. So we got our free entree. So we have the grilled chicken, egg white, and uh, sausage, egg, and cheese. So the entrees are free, and just any side that you want to get. With. So my wife got the hash brown and the drink. So we had to pay for those, but the entrees are free. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll post this in a little bit, you will see it. And hopefully you get a chance to go to Chipotle today and get free entree. So it's any entree, uh, it's free, uh, up until 7 p.m for today only, July 9th. Okay, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like our channel, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.